hello on this monday, october twenty second, two thousand and seven. i'm kristen volk with the upi headline update thousands of residents just northeast of san diego are being ordered to evacuate as wildfires burn across southern california the fires have been fueled by hot dry conditions and pushed by strong winds at least one person is dead and seventeen others are injured firefighters are battling the flames that started yesterday more than two dozen structures have been destroyed including homes churches and cars Vice President Dick Cheney says the U.S. will not allow Iran to have a nuclear weapon. Cheney made the comment yesterday during a speech. He added that if Iran pursues that technology, the U.S. and other nations are prepared to impose serious consequences. The vice president didn't mention any military action. Last week, President Bush warned that nuclear Iran could lead to World War III. Turkey's military has confirmed that eight of its soldiers are still missing after a weekend attack against Kurdish rebels. The incident killed at least 12 Turkish troops, which escalates the possibility that Turkey may launch a military raid into northern Iraq, targeting those PKK militants blamed for the attack. Turkey's prime minister has reportedly urged the U.S. to take, quote, speedy steps towards cracking down on the PKK. GOP presidential hopefuls saved their harshest attacks for Hillary Clinton in last night's Republican debate in Orlando. Former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney said the frontrunner for the Democratic presidential nomination hasn't run a state or city before. Former Governor Mike Huckabee said there's nothing funny about Clinton becoming president. And Senator John McCain criticized the former first lady for an amendment to fund a museum commemorating the Woodstock concert. Thanks for watching today's news update and check out our new special segment called Outgrowing Foster Care. Have a great day.